Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rose, Cooking with Rose International Cuisine. And today I'm going to share with you my recipe of making orange chicken, but without the breading. Uh, believe me, we're in the South here, we love our fried foods, but I've been cooking orange chicken for quite a while now without breading, because I want a healthier version of it. And so when I make orange chicken, I also make the dish with a lot more sauce. So I use a lot more orange juice in it. Um, so I have a lot more sauce, and I also add a couple of vegetables in it to so make it a complete meal. And then you serve it with rice. So these are the ingredients that I typically use, and this will serve easily about uh, four to six people, uh, I guess depending on your portion size. So I would say easily, comfortably four people. Um, I use chicken thighs. This is one and a half uh, pounds of chicken thigh. They've been cut up and um, into bigger bite pieces. Um, and then I'll explain to you also what I did to this. This chicken thighs actually have been um, soaked in one teaspoon of baking soda. And then I've added two tablespoons of water, mix it all up, and then put it in the refrigerator to marinate for about 30 minutes. I would say minimum 15 minutes. Then take them out, wash all the baking soda out, drain the uh, chicken, and now they're ready to be marinate again with another set of um, ingredients. And then for the chicken, before we're going to fry the chicken or cook the chicken without the breading, we're going to need one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and then one quarter cup of cornstarch. And that would be for the chicken. And then add in like a dash of white pepper and then a dash of paprika to give some color. So that's for the chicken. Now to make the sauce, y'all, <clears throat> Like I told you, I like it to have more sauce in the dish. I have one whole cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. This came from four oranges. Oh no, I'm sorry, two oranges, two big oranges. One whole cup of that. And then um, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce. I have one tablespoon of white sugar and one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of honey, some zest about one tablespoon of orange zest, and then two teaspoons of chili garlic sauce, and then one third of a cup of, again, rice vinegar, um, some garlic and um, ginger, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, about half uh, one red bell pepper, three or four stalks of green onions, salt, and then just a little bit, a dash of sesame oil, and of course, cooking oil and a nice big pot and then um, soon we will be cooking. Let's prepare our chicken thighs. In here like I said before we have one and a half pounds of chicken thighs and I cut them uh, bigger bite sizes like this about two inches two inch pieces and these were marinated with one teaspoon of baking soda in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Came out of the refrigerator and I wash the baking soda off, rinse them, and drain them really, really well. Now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, a dash of paprika, just for a color, just a dash, I'd say about a quarter teaspoon, and then about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and then this will make it crispy, and that is one quarter cup of cornstarch. Oops, and my hands are clean, and I'm gonna mix them all around, like so. And then after this, we'll start um, sauteing the chicken pieces. And that is done. It's time to cook the chicken. I have a large cast iron being heated right now on medium high heat and let's add some cooking oil to it. Oh, about two tablespoons or so. And then what you wanna do, or what I typically do uh, to be sure that this chicken pieces look nice, um, they're already tender, but you wanna have that nice color, that nice grill mark on it, is to put them in a single layer. So that's why I cut mine into bigger bite pieces. And so, lay them down as much as you can. 
in a single layer. And I remove most of the fat from the chicken thigh. Please love and I'll see you soon.